Bienvenidos a la celebración del Día de Muertos 2024. Welcome to Día de los Muertos Celebration 2024, our 38th annual celebration. Día de los Muertos is the celebration of life and death. The celebration allows us to reflect on the cycle of life and death. Giving thanks and celebrating the memory of our loved ones, keeping them alive in our hearts through colorful ofrendas that highlight the beauty and rich traditions of Latin America. It is in our remembrance of the contributions and experiences of our loved ones that have passed on to reunite us with our ancestors that live forever in our hearts and minds. Mission Cultural Center for Latino Arts brings together local artists, fashion designers, filmmakers, photographers, sculptors, musicians, poets, chefs, organizations, businesses, and most importantly, local families to celebrate this beautiful tradition that blends Mesoamerican rituals, European religion, and Spanish culture celebrated each year from October 31st through November 2nd. Dia de los Muertos marks a trio of events during which it is believed that the spirits of children, adults, and all the dead return. To welcome those spirits, the living create ofrendas, or altars, with items representative of the deceased person's favorite food and activities. Items to help the spirits continue their journey are added as well. Here are some tips on how to read the three-tier altar, which represents the three planes of existence, the sky, the earth, and the underworld. The heart. The heart is a sacred symbol in Mexican art, representing divine love. Marigolds, Sempasuchi. The bold orange flowers are sometimes called flor de muerto, or flowers of the dead. Their scent helps attract souls to the altar. Papel picado. Beautiful and intricately cut tissue paper banners are light enough to blow in the breeze when spirits arrive in this world. Their delicate nature symbolizes the fragility of life. Alebrije animals. Alebrije animals. Traditional in Mexican art, these fantastical creatures combine the features and characteristics of various animals. Photos and personal items. Photos of the deceased draw their spirit to the altar, as do personal items that were important during their lives on earth. Water, pan de muerto, and other food. Bread of the dead, pan de muerto, in the shape of bones and skulls, is included with the deceased's favorite foods to nourish their spirit upon return to the land of the living. Water is placed on the altar to quench their thirst after a long journey. Candles. Candlelight illuminates the path home for returning spirits. Salt. Often shaped into a cross, salt purifies spirits as they cross into the realm of the living. Copal incense burner. Derived from the copal tree, the incense purifies spirits and elevates the prayers of the living. This year's theme is Almas Indelibles, Indelible Souls. We are honoring local artists and individuals that have left their mark in our community, our lives, and our memories. This year we honor filmmaker Lourdes Portillo, poet Nili Cherkovsky, muralist Ray Patlan, Latino Comic Expo co-founder Ricardo Padilla. MCCLA celebrates a tradition that honors our ancestors that have crossed over to a better life. A tradition that started in Mexico and is practiced by many indigenous people of Latin America. The community gathers to honor the memory of the dearly departed and celebrates the cycle of life and death. This year's celebration will include an art exhibit featuring Mesoamerican colonial, post-colonial, modern, and contemporary altar installations. Art, prints, photography, sculpture, and fashion installations. Join us in celebrating our loved ones, those that have left a mark that can never be erased.